everyone, my name is Eris, and today's gonna be kind of a more fun, chill kind of video because lately I've been finding myself going down a bunch of like quiz rabbit holes on those quiz websites like BuzzFeed and UQuiz and all of that. So I figured it would be fun to do some of those with y'all and see how it goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do right off the bat is go for the you know, the, the iconic online quiz, the one we all searched up when we were 12. We're gonna do am I gay quiz. Ooh, I love these, I love these search results for middle schoolers, accurate for girls. All the test, accurate boys. All right, let's see, where are we going? Also, don't judge that I'm using DuckDuckGo. I don't want Google to steal my data, so. Yeah. Let's go to quizrocket.com. The gay quiz. Am I gay? When you hug your male friends, you are crying, are usually naked, feel uncomfortable, have just scored a touchdown, are hoping to score a touchdown. Okay. Um, oh wait, I want to read the like author's note here. Also, I want to appreciate the graphic design. Um, Honestly, like once you become gay, because you know, everything turns you gay. For me, it was seeing Rosalina in Super Mario Galaxy um, on the Wii. She made me gay. Um, but whenever you turn gay, you can actually shoot rainbows out of your hands like this guy is. But it's just not something that we talk about a lot. So keep it on the DL, you know? Anyway, author's note. The gay quiz, am I gay? Hey, excuse me. <coughs> Hey, been called ma'am a few t too many times at the store, at the grocery store lately? Think you might want to take it to the next level with your fishing friend Larry? Well, be confused no more. This fun little quiz will help you figure out which team you should be playing for. It's the gay quiz. Are you a woman, not just a queen? You should take the lesbian quiz instead. Well, what if I'm not either? Well, we'll just do this one and we'll try out the lesbian one next. So, number one again. When you hug your male friends, you are crying, naked, uncomfortable, have just scored a touchdown, or are hoping to score a touchdown. Well, I don't, I'll say, I'll say feel uncomfortable. Guys that have small dogs, not puppies, small dogs, are cute. I love small dogs. I love guys with dogs because, you know, if they're nice to their dog, I feel like it says a lot about them, just like as a person. Literally, how people treat animals is such a tell on their behavior. Like if someone comes into your life and your dog or cat or whatever doesn't like them, or they don't like your pet, then like 90% of the time, it is a huge tell on their personality and they're just toxic anyway. And that is my hot take for the day. Um, as if I'm not gonna have way more than this. Look in your pants, what do you see? Uh, bikini briefs, my twig and berries, boxer briefs, tidy whities boxers, or another man. I, I have to be a, a tiny, tiny little man to be hiding in my pants right now. Um, I don't know why I just got a southern accent when I said that, but you know, it happens to the best of us. Uh, bikini briefs, we'll go with, we'll go with, we'll go with, I don't, uh, 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 boxers. Bed and breakfasts are delicious, oh my god. Um, places my girlfriend drags me to, places I would like to own, okay, capitalist. Nice places for an intimate getaway, um, the best places ever, well that's what I said, so. Whether you're gay or not depends on your gender identity. What's yours? Male, male seeking male, I choose to identify as female. Well, I'm not going to answer that question because none of those are, n no. Look at your driver's license picture. How do you look? Terrible, I fucking hate my driver's license picture. I don't think I've ever met anyone who likes their driver's license picture, but mine makes me look like a cube. They had me like turn up my head like this and, and then the like exposure or I guess the contrast on the shot was like really terrible. And I had bleached hair at the time. Um, so my head just looks like a, like a square, like Steve Minecraft in that shot because my jaw is like a perfectly straight line and then my head is just a square. It is awful. I hate it so fucking much. Oh my God. Okay. 
Look at my driver's license picture. How do I look? Fabulous, like a criminal in a mugshot. I have bags under my eyes. I did have bags under my eyes because when I got, when I took my driver's test, I had to wake up at like 5.30 in the morning because we drove like two hours out of the way so that I could take my test in this tiny ass town in the middle of nowhere because in my hometown there's so many people taking driver's tests all the time that you have to book them like four or five months in advance and I was just like fuck it I'm gonna schedule one in this tiny little town so I can take it in like a week but yeah that meant that I had to wake up at like 5 a.m. so not only do I look like Steve Minecraft in my driver's license picture but I also have gigantic bags under my eyes so that's cool at the gym, you mostly hang out in the locker room, try to pick up chicks, use this, those three pound weights, or hang out in the steam room. Well, this makes a fatal error of assuming that I ever go to the gym, but assuming I went to the gym in this nice little hypothetical, um, probably those three pound weights, I'd say, because I, I, I probably couldn't do any of the other stuff. What, do I get results? Do I get results? I clicked continue. Let me let me let me try let me try again. It's continue. Give me my results. It's not giving me my results. I'm I'm going to cry. Whatever, okay, I guess we're doing a different Are You Gay quiz because I don't know yet. And this is what I came to learn. We'll go to the first result, proprofs.com. Right now, what would you consider yourself? Well, that's a cop out. Um, I don't know. Listen, I've been having a crisis since I was like 12 over this. Um, We'll say bisexual, I guess. You are currently in a relationship with a girl. I wish. And you discover that there's a guy that has strong feelings for you. Stay with the girl. You guys have really gotten serious and you want to keep things going and let him down easy. OMG, a guy likes me? T go tell everyone. I would never go out with a girl in the first place. Even though you're interested, you stick with the girl because you're afraid of what people will think or end things with the girl and see what, where you and this guy can go. Well, if I'm already in a relationship and I find out, regardless of gender, if I'm in a relationship and I find out that someone else has feelings for me, um, if the relationship is going well, then I'm probably gonna just stay with that person because would you ever cheat on a girl with a, Cheating is shallow and immoral, what the fuck? That's such a, that question pisses me off. Cause I feel like, mm, there's that stereotype that like bisexual people are more likely to cheat because bi people can be attracted to any gender. So like there's more people available to them or whatever. And that question felt very close to that stereotype. So I wonder if you picked um, certain answers on that. It was like, oh, well, like if I, because I picked the cheating is bad one, am I now less likely to get bisexual on the, as a result on this quiz? I fucking hope not. Cause that would be dumb as shit. But anyway, let's see. Every girl has rejected you because you are the ugliest sag sag to ever walk the face of the earth. What do you do? <sighs> Move on and keep trying. Some girl out there will be mine someday. Screw the girls. I don't like them anyway. Guys are way hotter. Screw it. Maybe I will be gay or expand your horizon and look for guys too. Hmm. I don't like the phrasing of some girl out there will be mine, so I'm gonna say expand my horizons. What color are my eyes, Hazel? You are bisexual. Well, fuck, I'm glad we cleared that up. Bisexual bisexuality means that you either like both sexes or you like people slash personality. It does not mean anything is wrong with you. It just means that the chances of you finding somebody that makes you happy is double than that of gays and straight people because you expand your horizons. I disagree with that completely, but you know what? 
Whatever. Am I smarter than a third grader? Let's go. I am curious. What is the largest planet in our solar system? It's Jupiter. But Saturn is the prettiest. What is the fastest land animal? The cheetah. I was so obsessed with cheetahs when I was a kid. Like, to the point where I used to like role play that I was a cheetah because I was that kind of a kid. Um, no, I'm not a furry, thank you. But I did used to pretend to be a cheetah and at a different time a tiger when I was a kid because I was obsessed with big cats, but specifically cheetahs because I thought they were super dope. Um, and I even learned how to make the sound that cheetahs make because cheetahs make this weird like yelp sound. And I'm not going to do it now, but I will put in a video here of it. But yeah, I was really obsessed with big cats as a kid, especially cheetahs, because I was like, I just wanna run as fast as possible. <laughs> How many legs does a lobster have? Oh, fuck. It's a crustacean. It's similar to a crab, and I think crabs are like spiders, but on land. No, in the water. And they have shells, so I think it's eight. Fuck, 10? I don't think any animal should have that many legs. A kid, a kid is a baby goat. What was the first animal to go into orbit? It was a dog, wasn't it? And then they never brought the dog back down? It just died in space? As far as I know, right? I don't know. What is the first element on the periodic table? It's <sighs> hydrogen. Yes, I always get hydrogen and helium mixed up. Who is the inventor of the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell, bitch. But with how history is, probably not. He probably stole it from someone. What zodiac sign is represented with a lion? A Leo, that's easy. It's easy. How many years are in a millennium? 1,000, 1,000, yes, because 1999 turn of a millennium. O positive is not the rarest blood type to have, Never mind. What is an elephant tusk made of? Ivory, because we got poachers, bitch. Am I smarter than a third grader? Yes, yes, cool. Are you more millennial or Gen Z? Because I was born like right in that like disputed area of like, is it millennial, is it Gen Z? I have some of the qualities of like late millennials, but then again, I have like a lot of the qualities of Gen Z. So I don't know, we'll find out. Play Buzz is about to educate me. Choose a movie, The Lion King, Shrek, Moana, or Zootopia. Shrek every day, bro. Mamma Mia, Hairspray, Pitch Perfect, or The Greatest Showman? The Greatest Showman. I don't know why I said it like that. I think I'm gonna have to go with Pitch Perfect. That's a, that's a nostalgia movie for me. It was so fun. Bird Box, Annabelle, The Blair Witch Project, or Saw? I haven't seen any of these, but I've heard the Blair Witch Project is really good. I do want to see that. Out of the four, I think that's the one I would watch the first, so. Finding Dory, The Incredibles, Inside Out, 101 Dalmatians. The Incredibles. I watched The Incredibles so many times as a kid. I have no idea why. I really liked Violet um, as a character. I really related to her. Being able to turn invisible, wish that were me. Napoleon Dynamite, Grown Up, Super Bag, Super Bad, or Tag. Again, I haven't seen any of these movies. I'll go with Napoleon Dynamite. Freaky Friday, A Cinderella Story, The Princess Diaries, or 13 Going on 30. I remember, if I'm thinking of the correct movie, I think when I was like six or seven, we had like some movies on VHS and they had the trailers before them all the time, which when you're a kid, and I don't know why, you're like, I wanna watch the trailers, I wanna watch the trailers. We did that all the time, my mom hated it. But I think I remember, if I'm thinking of the right movie here, I think I remember seeing a trailer for this movie and it like freaked me out as a kid. Cause the, and I'm, I, I'm gonna look this up to confirm after I say this, but if I'm correct, this movie is like about a 13 year old who like makes a wish to be like an adult and she wakes up the next day and she's like a whole adult, but she doesn't know anything. So she has to like learn about adult things like by just being shoved into real life. And it seemed really weird and awkward. And even as like a six year old, I was like, what the fuck? What is this movie? Oh my God. And it freaked me out. Cause I was like, oh my God, what if I wake up one day 
and I'm an adult, I wouldn't be able to, I don't want to know anything. And it turns out that happened anyway, but it was just much slower. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let me, let me make sure I'm thinking of the right movie. 13 going on 30. 13 going on a 30 is a 2004 American fantasy romantic comedy film. It follows a 13 year old girl who dreams of being popular. Yes, yes, I think, I think this is it. When she eventually, during her birthday party, she is humiliated by her classmates and wishes that she was 30 years old. When she eventually does emerge, she finds herself suddenly 30 years old and in 2004, uncertain how she got there. Okay, yeah, so this is what I was thinking of. If it came out in 2004, damn, I was young. I don't know how I remember that. It must have really scarred me. But of the above, Freaky Friday, A Cinderella Story, The Princess Diaries, 13 going on 30, The Princess Diaries, Star Wars, The New Hope, The Hunger Games, Divergent, or The Maze Runner. Ooh. I'm, I'm stuck between Star Wars and The Hunger Games, because The Hunger Games, the book series at least, has like a place in my heart. That was like the first book series I read, like on my own, that, I, that wasn't like introduced to me by like teachers or my mom or whatever. And I really liked it. And I think it still holds up, but I mean, Divergent and the Maze Runner were just kind of Hunger Games knockoffs, but Star Wars A New Hope mm, over the Hunger Games. I feel like the Hunger Games is more topical, so we'll do that one. American Pie, 21 Jump Street, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, or Neighbors. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, no contest at all. 10 Things I Hate About You, The Fault in Our Stars, Twilight, or Love, Simon. Ooh. See, but I haven't seen 10 Things I Hate About You, but The Fault in Our Stars, I have fond memories of because it came out when I was like young and it was another book that I had like read on my own and I was excited to see the movie. And I went in and I sobbed so much. I literally like brought a box of tissues and I was like crying so much. I don't think I've ever cried that much in a movie before or after. But Twilight, as I said before, I have so much fun making fun of it, which probably isn't what they want me to choose. But like, again, I'm fond of it because some of my best memories are watching Twilight with my friends and just completely tearing it to shreds because it's so fun. And then Love, Simon, I it came out when I was like older, obviously I was in like high school by then, but it's gay. And that one quote, you get to breathe now, is like, but I think, I think I'm gonna go with Twilight just because that one I, I've had the most fun with. Clueless, Mean Girls, to All the Boys I Loved, or Bring It On, Mean Girls. Oh, calculating results. What am I? What am I? I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. I'm old. I'm gonna not gonna get a mortgage because no millennials can get mortgages. <clears throat> I'm gonna get an overpriced rented apartment. Sounds good to me. But this one I found the other day and I just thought it would, it, it was whack as fuck and you quizzes are always chaotic. So we're gonna do the, what I think you would taste like based on these random questions quiz. And the subheading is, what's your vibe, dude? Are you a nice warm coffee in the morning? Are you mysterious and bitter like dark chocolate? This quiz is a joke I took a bit too seriously. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put cricket as my name. Start quiz. What is your ideal house? A small house, lots of houseplants everywhere. You live in a tiny village where everyone knows each other. A basement, the toilet and the bedroom are in the same space. The only decoration is tags on the wall. A centuries old castle, entirely renovated, but still with the old era's aesthetic. Old paintings and giant libraries. An apartment in a big city, the neon lights from the signs shine in through your blinds. It's cheap, but it's home. A cottage hidden in the woods. You live alone with your farm animals and make your own food. You wake up before sunrise, just so every day you can watch the sun appear from behind the trees. As long as the interior looks like a bright pink teen's room from an early 2000s Disney movie, you'll be happy. Hmm. I don't ever want like a big house because I feel like it would be a pain in the, the ass 
ass to clean. And I've always said that I want... The idea of owning property doesn't appeal to me. I want like an apartment and I know it's a bad financial decision. Maybe I'll like buy a condo or whatever, but I don't want a lawn because they suck to maintain and I think that they're stupid and dumb and bad. I don't want a big house that I'd have to clean. I don't want kids, so it's not like I need a lot of space. So I think like my like idyllic lifestyle that I, that like the, the escapist version of me in my head would want is the cottage in the hidden woods where I have animals because I, I feel like having sheep at one at some point would be the, the fucking best ever but I like realistically what I can like set my goals on is an apartment in a big city because that also seems like it would be dope growing up in a suburb where you have to drive everywhere I, I just don't want that again I hate it so much I want to live where the people are isn't that a song from the Little Mermaid I know I said I haven't seen it but Disney songs are everywhere uh, the song from the Little Mermaid I want to be where the people are that that's that's me choose a song lyric it's not a you quiz if there's not a choose a song lyric I was a fighter and I was so brave, but I lowered my sword when you held me and swore you'd stay, you'd stay, you'd stay, stay, stay. Oh, oh my God, what the fuck? Take my hand, crush it up, spill the blood on the, for the floor. I ain't scared, think there's more. These are tongue twisters. Waste no worry for the world. Let it be a tragedy of love and glory. While they wait by gates of pearl, we'll be building palaces in purgatory. I'm slowly devolving into reading this in a Ben Shapiro voice. Baby, don't you know you can't lose? You make me offers that I can't refuse. You keep telling pretty lies. You toy with the truth. Oh, you're killing me with your propaganda. Think of the happiest things. Think of the happiest things. It's the same as having wings. Take the path that moonbeams. Make if the moon is still awake. You'll see him wink his eye. You can fly. Love, give me love. I don't need it. But I'll take what I want from your heart. And I'll keep it in a bag, in a box, put an X on the floor. Give me more, give me more, give me more. I think that's the only song I recognize out of this. Uh... I didn't process any of the words I just read. I'm gonna pick that just by because it's MCR. Pick a thing from my room. A bowl full of pretty rocks and seashells, a collection of 31 monster energy cans, a broken vintage clock that looks like a cat, a collection of nine lighters, chonky Pikachu, or a pile of DVDs of every Barbie movie made until 2010. Chonky Pikachu all the way, bro. Love me some chonky Pikachu. Who do you made in Mario Kart? Rosalina, Waluigi, Metal Mario, Peach, Luigi, or Daisy? Rosalina, because as I said earlier, she made me gay, so. Summer or winter? Winter, I live in Texas, so it's the only time that it's actually tolerable to exist here. Perfect date. Going for, oh no, there's a lot of words here. Going for a picnic in the middle of the afternoon, we lay down in the grass. The sun shines brightly above us. We pick flowers and eat sandwiches. Your laugh makes me fall in love even more. We steal a car, we crash it into a wall, we draw obscene tags under a bridge, you kiss me passionately while we run from the cops. Hey cab, bitch, that sounds fun. An expensive dinner, I offer you some wine. Then we dance in a large ballroom, I offer you a bouquet of the prettiest roses. We stay at home and watch Netflix, we're cuddling on the couch and eating snacks. We yell at the characters doing stupid stuff, that's what I do when I watch Bake Off literally so fun it's like the best show to watch when you just want to turn off your brain but also like not when you don't want to be anxious sorry but not when you don't want to be anxious because i get like secondhand anxiety from the characters not characters they're people from the people that i like not doing well <laughs> so i get like super invested in it Watching a horror movie at the cinema, I act like I'm not scared, but I want you to protect me. I grab your arms during the scary scenes. You kiss me and comfort me. An amusement park, it's a bright summer day. We're eating cotton candy. We get on the Ferris wheel and kiss on top. That sounds sweet. Perfect date. Honestly, this one sounds the most fun. Like I would remember this. Yes. Are you happy? N no. 
Dark chocolate. You either have a villain or a vampire aesthetic. You're really, really cool. Thanks, bro. I wish I was you. You're a bit passive aggressive, but you know when to chill. Oh my God, the passive aggressive thing, particularly funny this week because my extended family is having a Thanksgiving family gathering with 34 people in 2020. This is what they are doing. And I disagree with that. Um, but in my family, it is the, the common practice to just completely avoid confrontation or difficult subjects because it's easier to just pretend that uncomfortable things aren't happening than to actually talk about it. So um, in the family email chain that I was in included in, um, there was a little blurb at the bottom of listing all of the people who were coming, all 34 of them, including three infants. Um, there was a little blurb about how my family, me and my mom and my siblings, aren't coming because of some of a, of not the reason why we're not coming. Um, basically, it was like a tangential reason, but not the actual reason we're not coming because they didn't want to say it say that we weren't coming because it is unsafe for 34 people to meet inside one house during covid but instead of just like seeing the email and ignoring it i was like sorry for the for the miscommunication but this is actually why we're not going and i think that's the most the most confrontational i've ever gotten with my family i'm very proud of myself but um my uncle angrily emailed me back and was like i don't appreciate your tone and i'm like sorry i don't appreciate you going to a 34 person family gathering in the middle of covid oh but yeah so so i guess i guess this is accurate because <laughs> i can i can be very passive aggressive this has been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I kind of want to do this again. I thought it was really fun. I want to check out more on U quiz because the U quiz quizzes tend to be pretty chaotic. Um, so let me know if you liked this video. I thought it was really fun and I'm being really repetitive, but yeah, um, comment, like, subscribe, whatever that people say on YouTube. Um, I am Eris or Cricket or whatever. I go by I, I don't, my identity is an enigma, but cricket or heiress, whatever. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been fun. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.